हाई गाइज टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट वाल लेट एंड कॉन्स्ट इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ एंड सो मैनी पीपल गेट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन दीज थ्री इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक सम टाइम टू एक्सप्लोर दी ई एस सिक्स लेट कॉन्स्ट एंड वार वेरिएबल्स दीज लेट एंड कॉन्स्ट वेरिएबल्स आर अल्टरनेटिव टू वार नाउ इज दे आर एनी थिंग इनहेरेंटली ब्रोकन विथ वार द आंसर इज नो There is no problem problem with war. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of lines of production, JavaScript have successfully worked for decades with war. The only problem with war is that it has its oddity, and it's easy to accidentally misuse and abuse, creating unnecessarily weird situations. Now we are going to explore explore all of that. But to kick kick things off, I want a place to explore that, and I have index dot html, and inside index dot html, I link the JavaScript file app dot js, which is inside the js folder. This is the app dot js file. Here I have the live server. I would use uh, that. If you don't have, no need to worry. You can go off with. your any local host server uh, so if i open the live server in the browser uh, it's opening so it's running on local host colon 5500 there is nothing inside index.html to show up uh, i will remove this style so there is nothing to show up in the index.html if i crack open the console uh, that is right click right right click and inspect so it will open the console of this tab so here we have and uh, nothing we have inside app.js also so nothing is showing up currently there is nothing that is expected let's go ahead and actually write some javascript let's kick things off by creating a var based variable and called it name var uh, and we are going to explore a couple of features to of our real uh, quick we are going to set it equal to uh, like supriya and then we are going to log it out and i am going to log two things console dot log uh the one is the some string like name var so we can easily configure which which value is this so name var so here i have uh, the name variable name var so i saved it and you can see the output in the console you might have this console like this uh like this uh, if uh, i resize the browser you you might be seeing your console like this i make this below so i have this output that is name var and the value is supriya so with var based variables we can go ahead and reassign them so i could set name var equal to something else it could be a function a number an object or anything uh, in our case let's just uh, assign it an another string like name var equal to riya so if i save this perfectly valid once again everything works but did you know that with var based variables not only you can reassign a variable like this we have here you can actually also redefine it which means i can make a new name var and assign it some uh, other value like priya and if i save this it is actually the it is running on the live server so it is uh, automatically updating uh, you have to save it so here priya value is printing there is no error with this this is perfectly valid with var based variables and this can easily 
get you into some situations where you are creating a new variable not knowing that you have already used it somewhere else inside of your code you are then overwriting that other value with the new one and this can easily cause some hard to debug issues with var based variables we can not only reassign we can also redefine and this is something that we are not going to be able to do any more with let and const and that's good because there is uh, really no practical application for this so let's think uh, kick things off by making our first let based variables so i am commenting this out of the name var uh control z and control forward slash i will also comment this now let's go ahead with var based variables uh, let based variables so let and something like up above i am giving it a uh, name name let and assigning it some value like uh, sohan and i will log it out in the console console dot log and name let so if i uh, here you can see the output that is sohan now with let just like with var you can reassign it if uh, which means i can take name let the existing variable and i can give it a brand new value like uh, uh, pari and here you can see the output that is pari this is completely valid inside of es6 let based variables and we get pari printing to the screen uh, with that though you cannot redefine it so if i try to uh, create a new variable like let name let and assign it a value uh, like uh, mohan you can see the error in the console that is name let has already been declared so inside of es6 it is no longer valid to redefine uh, those variables if you try to redefine a variable you are going to get an error just like the console uh, once again you can always reassign a let based variable that is perfectly valid so now let's move on to const so down below firstly i am commenting this out uh and down below let's create a new variable const uh, i can give it any name but as our convention like name var name let i will give the name here name const and here i am assigning some value like uh, mm, mohan and if i log this out console dot log name const and here you can see the output that is mohan now once again with constants variable we cannot redefine them so if we try to create a new variable like name const here assigning some new value like sohan you can see the error here name const hands has already been declared now you you cannot also reassign the const variables with const you can actually can't even reassign them uh, this is also valid if uh, i write here like this name const and here you can see assignment to constant variable that is type error you cannot reassign the const variables so this is also invalid the whole point of constant is that when you create it it doesn't its value doesn't change this is useful for a ton of situations so there are a few other differences between var and let const as we have seen we cannot redefine them so i am commenting this out and uh we will talk about now scoping the scoping 
is actually a little different as well and we are going to explore that down below with a new example now we know that var based variables are function scoped meaning that each variable is specific to the function that it was created inside of and it can't be accessed outside of that function so if we do make a function something um, like function something like get pet name and here uh, let's create a variable by var uh, that is pet name and here i will uh, give the value like cat and let's return the value pet name so if i call this function console dot log get pet name so uh, so you can see the value cat here and if we want to directly access this pet name value that is pet name variable you can see the error here that is pet name is not defined even though pet name was defined and assigned in here in this function it doesn't matter because it is function scoped uh, it is not available in the parent global scope if i go ahead and save this uh, so you can see this pet name is not defined error and the same thing is true for let and const uh, if i right here let you can see the same output that is pet name is not defined and if i change it to const you can see the same output that is pet name is not defined you can have that value by calling the function that is get pet name and you can see here the pet name value is cat you can make the variable like this where pet name and assign it to the function call that is get pet name and now you can print the value of pet name variable now you can see the uh, output here cat we are trying to access pet name defined in this scope so just like var let and const are function scope but there are actually also block level scope that is block scoping when something is block level scope not only it is bound to functions it's also bound to code blocks things like the code block for loop uh, for uh, or an if statement and this is not something that's true with var so let's go ahead and explore an example of this down below i am commenting this out uh, let's ex explore the block level scoping start with variables first uh, var based variables here uh, we can make one called full name var full name and i am assigning here some value like supriya agrawal and we are going to write some code that tries to extract the first name now i am not going to handle all of the edge cases i am going to assume that the full name is a set of characters followed by a single space uh, single space and another set of characters uh, this set of characters and space and this set of characters i understand this doesn't work for everyone's full name and they wouldn't use this parsing for production uh, what we are working on here though is just an example to explore block level scoping so we are going to set up an if statement we are going to check if full name even exists if it does not exist then we will not go to parse the uh first name we are going to set up the if statement in here uh, we are going to create a new variable that is first name and here you have uh, to extract the first name from this full name <clears throat> so here we have a method that is, is split in the string 
in JavaScript and here I am giving the space. So it will it will give you the array by splitting this string out uh, where it finds the space. So you will get the two values Supriya so and Agrawal <coughs> in the array and I want that first value that is array of 0. So here we are going to pull out the first name and I am returning the uh, first name. Here we are not creating any function so we will not returning anything out. So just logging the first name here, first name and also logging the first name outside the if block that is first name. <coughs> I am saving this. You can see the this console.log is printing the first name that is Supriya and this second console.log is also printing the Supriya. This is not a function. This is just an if statement. So I do have access to first name out here as well. Uh, console.log first name. I can access the first name. Now if I change this up something like uh, Ria. So you can see the output Ria that is this code is perfectly working. Everything is working ex as expected. Uh, that is because our var based variables are function scoped. Uh, while let and const are block level scope which does include functions. It also includes the <coughs> if statements like exactly what we have right here. So to explore this let's uh, go ahead and switch first name over to a const variable uh, and you can see here what happens. What happens what we do get uh, first name Ria is not printing be that is because the const is also a block level scope and this is the same with the let based variable this is also the <coughs> block level scope so with const and let we are not going to able to access those variables outside of the code blocks they were defined in the same thing is true to let. So if I go ahead and uh, set it const or let the same thing happen that is first name is not defined. But if you want uh, this variable to access it here you can do one thing that is uh, to define the first name variable outside the f block and here you can just reassign the let value. Uh, so the output is, output is x as expected. So here we have our goal. Uh, we, we see in the past that we can reassign the let variable but we can't do that with const. If I change this var to const nothing would change. Uh, the output would be same. Uh, it is uh, okay to use the var. Uh, but uh, it will not work everywhere. Uh, there are chances of doing mistakes and you would find it very difficult when you go to debug. So we stick with let and const generally. So we have removed the need for var completely. Alright, that's the whole discussion about the var, let and const. If you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section or you can message me on the Instagram that is at the rate growing underscore coders. Thank you guys.